Hello world, this is Shiraj. Welcome to this channel. In the last video, we discussed how we can create a documents, open a documents and compatibility mode. In this video, we are going to discuss save and save as a document, auto recover, exporting and sharing documents. So let's get started. When you create a new document in Microsoft Word 2019, you need to learn how to save the document. So you can access it or you can edit the document later. And also you can even export and share your documents directly from Microsoft Word 2019. Microsoft Word 2019 offers two ways to save the file. The first one is save, the next one is save as. The save is when you create or edit the document, you will use the save command to save your changes. You will use this command most of the time, but when you save a file, you will only need to choose the file name and location for the first time. After that, you can click the save command to save it with the same name and the same location. But the save as is, you will use this command to create a copy of the document while keeping the original version. When you use save as, you will need to choose a different file name or you can choose a different file location to get the copied version of the original file. To save the document, you can go to the backstage view. You can see two commands. Here we have save and save as. I'm going to click on this save, but automatically the Microsoft Word 2019 transfer to the save as since I'm going to save this document for the first time. Here you can see the disk PC and we can access the uh, recent folders and here you can add a place and we'll be discussing this one under this uh, OneDrive in a separate session. Here I have the browse button. I'm going to click on this browse button and we can get this dialog box, save as dialog box and we can select the folders and path and you can give the file name here. Here, the file name is given as default, the first words of uh, the first page, Microsoft Word 2019. And you can select the file type. Here, the default file type is DOCX. And you can choose the different file type as well. We'll be discussing these uh, in upcoming lessons. And you can leave as it is, the default file type. Now you can see the title bar. The file name is changed as Microsoft Word 2019. Now let's see how we can save this document in a different file name or different file location. Sometime I may need to have a, a copy of this document so I can use this save as command. To access this save as command, you can go to the backstage view. You can click on this save as command and you can get this uh, screen and you can click on the browse button and you can call the same dialog box, save as dialog box. We can give a different file name. I'm going to give uh, uh, underscore and B1, the version one. And you can choose a different file type as well. So I'm going to leave as it is. And I'm going to give save to save this document. Now you can see the title bar. The title is changed. Microsoft Word 2019 V1. And you can work from this document. Now you can, all the changes will be saved in this V1 file. Microsoft Word 2019 V1 file. Now we can start to edit this document. And if you want to save the changes, we can press Control S. The shortcut key is. Control S to save the document to save the changes. The shortcut key for the save as command is F12. Function key 12. I'm going to press the F12 and I can call save as dialog box and I can give a different file name F2 or I can choose a different file location as well. And you can click save button to save this file. Now you can see the title bar, the Microsoft Word 2019 V2. Now let's see how we can change the default location of the file saving. Here I'm going to press the F12 to call it save as dialog box. In the save as dialog box, you can see the uh, default file path. Here we can change this default file path. Now let's see how we can change this default file location. So you can go to the backstage view and you can find the last command option and you can call the word option dialog box and you can select this save. And here you can find uh, several controls and settings. And here you can come to this default file locations, default local file location. And here you can change the default file location. Here it is given as uh, my user account and documents. And under that we have a folder, uh, Word documents. We are going to change a different file name. To change the different location, you can click on this uh, browse button and you can select the different location. For example, here I'm going to give uh, a desktop. And I'm going to click OK to save this default file location. Here, when I'm going to open this uh, save as dialog box next time, this location will be uh, active in a save as dialog box. Now we'll click OK. Now I'm going to press Control N to create a new document. 
and I'm going to press uh, F12 to call save as dialog box. And now you can see the default location is changed as uh, desktop. And we can give the file name and we can select the file type and we can click the save button to save the document. And I'm going to click on this uh, file. I'm going to click on this option again to call this word option dialog box. And here we'll click on uh, save group. Here you can see save auto recovery information every 10 minutes. It means your changes will be saved in every 10 minutes. So we can set the time from 1 to 120. The next one is uh, auto recover file location. Here you can see the file path. Sometime if you lose a file due to the uh, power failure or software crash, you can recover the file from this location. Here you can see the checkbox. Keep the last auto recovered version if I close without saving. We can check in this checkbox and we can recover the files that you have failed to save. And you can click OK to save the changes in this uh, dialog box and done. Now let's see how we can export this document to other different file types. By default, Microsoft Word 2019 save the files in DOCX format. DOCX format. Now let's see how we can convert and export this document to other different versions. To export this document, you can go to the backstage view. You can come to this export and you can click on this export and here you can see two different commands create pdf or xps document and here we have change file type and i'm going to click on this create pdf or xps document here we have create pdf or xps console i'm going to click here and you can call this uh, publish as pdf or xps here we have a save as type you can choose pdf or xps document here if i want to save this file in a pdf format i can click this pdf and i can select the file name so i'm going to uh, give uh, microsoft word 2019 i'm going to delete this text and I'm going to save this file as pdf here we have two options optimize for standard and minimum size if we want to have a high quality for the printing you can select this option or if you want to publish this uh, document in online and you want to have a, a minimum size you can select this option i want to select the standard one i'm going to click on this publish to create this document into pdf version now you can see the pdf file is created now i'm going to click on this backstage view again click the export again and here let's come to the second command change file type here you can change the file type here we can see uh, the change file type you can see this uh, file types the default one DOCX and here you can see 97 to 2003 if you want to convert this document into uh, 97 to 2003 format it means uh, DOC format and here you can see a different file type so these file types are available in the save as dialog box as well so we can choose there or here after selecting the specific file type that you want to convert or that you want to change the file type and we can click this uh, save as command to save this file type in 97 to 2003 format and we can click this save to save the file now we can see the title bar microsoft word 2019 v2 now it is changed as doc format now let's see how we can share a document with many people and when you're going to share a document from microsoft word 2019 you're actually giving the complete rights or you can give the complete access to the exact same file so a particular file can be accessed from many people and you don't want to get a copy at the same time many people can edit the single document now let's see how we can share a document to share a document we can go to the backstage view we can click on this share if you want to share a document first you must save this document to the cloud so i'm going to click on this save to cloud I can click on this OneDrive. Here I'm going to save this file under this folder, Siraj Mohammed and OneDrive folder. I'm going to click on this uh, folder to save this document. I'm going to give the same name. I'm going to click on this uh, save to save this file. And now we can see the status bar uploading to OneDrive. Now done. I'm going to click on this backstage view again. I'm going to click this share 
and now you can see share with people now it is connecting and you can click on the share with people now you can see the share pen the right side here we have the address book you can find the uh, people from this address book as well so i'm going to type the email address to give the email id and you can give a message as well that is optional then you can click share so now you can see so this particular email id person can edit this document and you can come to this uh, get a sharing link you can click here and you can copy this link and you can share this link with many people that's all in lesson number three if you have any queries you can comment in the comment box thank you very much guys We'll meet in the next video. Bye.